I thought these were slices of potato, but they're actually. <laughs> Welcome back guys, welcome back to the channel. Will, Tids and I are en route to Cheltenham. We've got little cutie pie here who usually is in her box when we travel and she has upgraded to this very snazzy bag instead. Good girl. It's much bigger because you can open it out um, both sides. I haven't eaten anything all day, and nor has Will. We've just been so busy. Oh my god, he's got snacks. Wow, this is a snack and a half, Will. Well, I've got a cheese and onion slice for you. Wow, thank you. You've got a sausage roll for me. Oh my goodness, that's like more than dinner. We've got dinner in two hours. What more than dinner? What do you eat? Okay, right. I'm going to tuck into my cheese and onion slice. Thanks so much, Will. <laughs> and let's get on the road. We'll see you in beautiful, sunny, 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 sunny Cheltenham. We are manically walking to the Ivy, and I didn't even have time to show you our beautiful room. So we have checked into the George in Cheltenham, and it is sunny. It is such a beautiful room. I haven't had time to enjoy it yet. I yeah, we literally came in. We'll got the laptop out to work for 20 minutes and then we've just left. I didn't even get changed. I'm wearing the same thing. I just subbed on a white blazer and some boots. But Tiddles, fingers crossed, seems happy in the room. It's a beautiful big bed and lots of space and a big bathroom as well. So hopefully she'll be all right in there. I was a a little bit conscious when we first go to new places that this is going to be okay. But the two receptionists are so lovely there, aren't they? Yeah. They're so nice. We're very late for our table at the Ivy, so they've already called us and we said we'll be right there. So I've no idea whether they're going to keep it for us or not. But wish us luck and I hope they do, because everywhere else in Cheltenham basically is booked out. So we're here, we've got our table, I'm so happy about it. They were fine, they were lovely, and we were in a very cool hall actually. Cheers. Will's almost finished. You've almost finished your food. You, you know why I like You've almost finished it. The reason I went for Shepherd's Pie is I always remember, it, I always remember it being quite small. But like good size. Perfect. But like now you've finished and I haven't even started mine. Well, I've always seen I always remember it being like Will's got shepherd's pie and I've got truffle chips and parmesan, truffle and parmesan chips and then like a, a chicken, ooh, amazing, thank you, mmm, that's tasty, finished our vino, cry face, football's on and Will wants to go so I'm being summoned, so we're just walking back, we're walking back from the pub, Look at this beautiful building. I feel like I'm in Rome right now. It's very Roman. Really nice little walk here. And I feel so safe on the streets. I do really like Cheltenham. There's a lot of good restaurants. What did you think of the ivy, honey? Oh, it was amazing. It was beautiful. Oh, and the was. food was so good, wasn't it? Yeah, I had uh, such my classic, the norm. Yeah, you had your norm. Uh, and then we're not too far away from our pad either. Well, that's our pad there. So this is our hotel here. George Hotel. It's like a very traditional old... don't know what era, but I love it. Honestly, she's the cutest little thing, aren't you? Cutest. We'll just watch and take him. Yo, 
You're my first. You're my last. My everything. I will see you in the morning at breakfast. Um, and good night. Good morning, guys. From cloudy Cheltenham, but nice. We're just about to go for breakfast. Yeah, she's eating quick. Go, go. Got the key. Okay. Okay. Mask. Bit in breakfast. We're at the diner. Very cool. It's like American diner vibes. I like it a lot. We've ordered. I've got a cappuccino. Will's got a. <laughs> we've ordered a big breakfast each, but they said we wouldn't have anything while we're waiting. So we've got a fruit platter as well. Yum. <laughs> You're struggling. It's like a full blown workout. Breakfast has arrived, and I've got this veggie breakfast, which looks delightful. I've even got a little lemon as well. Yum. And Will's gone for the classic. This is actually the perfect breakfast. I've got all my favourite things. Avocado, halloumi, poached egg, beans. I've even got potatoes. I've never had potatoes on a breakfast before. But you know, we're here for it. It's quite interesting. It's quite nice. So that was an absolutely delightful breakfast. I'm so full now though. This is what I always do when I go to hotels because I don't usually really eat breakfast, but then when I go to hotels, I just have so much because I do love breakfast. Well, going out for breakfast, I love it. Um, so now I'm absolutely stuffed, but not complaining. I did have, this is my second cappuccino, so I brought it back to the room to enjoy. So cheers. I bought her blanket with her, this one. She seems to prefer the hers. We shouldn't have bothered because she just keeps sitting on their blanket, don't you? Hey? Um, but what I did realise is this is Tiddle's first ever hotel stay. Because um, usually when we go on staycations, we either staycay at my family's house or um, we've been to two Airbnbs. Well, one was like a shepherd's hut, uh, which I will link down below if you want to see it. So this is your first hotel stay. What do you think of hotels? Do you like them? Are you a booty kitty? Hmm? This hotel room is definitely big enough for her to chill out in because it's basically like half the size of our flat. So if she's only here for two nights, then that is fine to explore, isn't it? So the cleaners are in our room, but basically I didn't want the cleaners to be in when Tiddles was there because she'd freak out, she'd try and sprint out. It's not fair on the cleaners to have to deal with all of that. Um, but we originally I said that I didn't want the room clean because it was just too much hassle, but actually I think we do need the room clean. So we've just come to take Sanctuary in the car just because this is the only like place that we can let Tiddles run free. Well, I say run, it's hardly running, but she's having a little explore of the car. Because usually when she's in the car, she we're very strict on the fact that she's obviously not allowed to climb around and explore. But this is the first time she's going for an explore in the car. Engine's off, so nothing to worry about. She's having a good old explore. What do you think, Tiddles? Is that being the king queen of the castle? Is that where you're about? Is that where we're sitting? Is it? Teeth. <laughs> oh, Will, don't do that to her. Will. He's all right. Oh. No, she's all freaked out. She doesn't like it. Come to the back with me. You want to sit up front? You've called shotgun, have you? Come to join me now. Come on, then. Come on, then. There's a good girl. In oh, you've even gone into your bed. Back to the room we go. Back to the room. Oh, amazing. Wonderful. So we're in our 
our hotel room in the George Hotel um, and I'll do a little bit of a um, room tour for you. So we've got our dressing table here, which is very smart. You can mirror lots of glasses. These are really nice glasses, aren't they? Mm. I really like this. Um, really nice of this, but it's good. And then we've got panels all over the room, which I think is gorgeous. Um, and then we've got the bed here, which is really nice. I think I want these when I go. I don't really know about panels, but they look really nice. Well, paint, yeah. Um, and then very cool artwork. I like the lamps as well. Like, how do we describe this? Industrial colour exposed vibes? I don't really know. And then we find the toilet. Here's a hand. Sinks, toilet, and a very cool luxury coffee shower. And then spread the uh, what's it called? Toilet trees for what's going Very nice. It smells good as well. Perfect, it's a lovely room. Literally perfect for the three of us. And we're that happy, aren't we? Yeah, it's been a good stay so far. Yeah, so now we're going to go and explore the Mountain. Now we've come to the Imperial Gardens. Having an iced coffee and we're listening to live music. Cheers. little break now we've actually moved tables we've come outside which is lovely in Imperial Park oh I don't want to show people it's really cute this little marquee setup it's actually really funny I we stayed at this hotel just here um, number 131 in Cheltenham a couple of years ago and it's the same people who own it as the hotel we're staying in now the George <laughs> Will's stop. saying that my camera which is the DJI pocket too looks I just said it's really good I love it because it's so subtle like you can um, vlog in, in public and not really be too obvious at all because it's like so small it's like way smaller than my phone um, and he said it looks more like a dictaphone so I could just be taking notes to myself note to self this <laughs> park is very good <laughs> park imperial park Cheltenham this is where we are what did you think well, scary but when it flips around yeah, to you it's, it's like a robot Stop. It's cool though, isn't it? It's cool. I, I love this that. camera so much. You just double, uh, you triple oh, tap it. That's so cool. You come back. It's very cool. I'm going to do a video on it as well, my review. I do need to go to the shops and buy a few bits. So I'm hoping that Will won't get too buffed up before he does that. Nice shops all along here. You can't even see it because the bus is there. But we've got anthropology, Russell and Bromley. Hobbs, Reefs, some pretty snazzy ones, hey? Yeah. I've had quite a successful shot, to be honest. I've got everything I wanted, apart from we haven't eaten anything since breakfast this morning at nine o'clock, well, nine, ten-ish, and it's now four, and we haven't got dinner booked until, like, half nine because everywhere was booked out. So, do we go and get a snack? Probably would be a good idea. Look at these uh, fountains in Cheltenham. This is nice, isn't it? Oh, it's like the Trevi Fountain. Oh, this is influenced by the Trevi guys. There we go. Do you feel like you're in Rome? It's pretty good, isn't it? Nice. Very nice. We're in Roma. So we've literally walked five minutes of that, maybe two minutes. And we're already here. So it just shows, go, yeah. Just shows how close the George, yeah, hotel is. Hello, sweeties. Darling. Back in the hotel room now. I've got preposition. Because we haven't eaten since breakfast at 9, 10, 
and our table is at 9.30 and I've just looked and we can't change it. Why don't we just do a delivery, a, a glass of alcohol and like a starter snack? A giggling squid, for example, we could just get a bit of satay chicken and yeah, a yeah, cocktail. Yeah, happy to see that. But then equally, let's not get a drink. If you Do you want to order a little snack? Yes. Ah! Okay, we've ordered it. We've got giggling squid, just literally a couple of snacks, spring rolls, chicken. And then I've ordered will a beer and then me a <coughs> cocktail. Just because our dinner is so late but we always do this we did this yesterday in the car like we don't have lunch and then when it gets like just before dinner we're absolutely starving and then have to eat something before dinner we should just learn really and have lunch we could actually go for an aperitif at number 131 well, that's what I'm, I want to go to and then go one. opposite to the brasserie blanc for dinner what, I didn't think, yeah, the next door that's perfect I they're literally opposite i love it i i don't think I, do you know what i think that last time that i've done delivery to a hotel it's last time we were in cheltenham when we were literally staying at number 131 i don't think that we've actually well i've actually done delivery to a another hotel since then have you no like we never do that ever we just usually go out for food but this hotel room is so nice and obviously Tiddles is here so the longer we can be in the hotel room the better for her and we're going out for dinner anyway so catch you when we get our food it's arrived so we have some of these chicken parcels well I'll just pause it just for a second so these chicken parcels we've got a beer for Will a singer there you go hun We've got a cocktail for me. Okay, that's a bit smaller than I thought it was going to be. Um, and then we have... That is tiny. Jesus, yeah. Eight quid. eight quid for that. That is not what I recommend. And then we've got... What? Oh, some spring roll. Perfect. So this is just a little snack before we go to dinner. And we're going to put a Queen of the South on. I've watched it. I haven't finished it, but Will's never watched it. So. Do you eat those bits on it? I guess you can. Yeah. Yeah, they're chicken parcels. Yummy. Let's Yummy. go. That went down way too quick. We finished it two minutes later. Oh. Did you enjoy it? The food? Yeah. I was a bit surprised at how small portions were. Yeah. We paid 30 quid for a spring roll each, two chicken things each, and a little drink each. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit but, depressing, but hey, either way. Hey ho, nice a pizza stuff. would have been cheaper, but yeah. we'd have been stuffed. So, so a bit of food, yeah. we've just had a that's just that's kind of what we wanted just a bit of an, a, yeah, a, little, a little snack, a little yeah. nibble before yeah, just go and get ready and chill. Yeah, exactly. Okay, update it is 10 past seven. I don't know how I managed to make the last two hours go so fast, I don't really know what I've done, but it's been a nice relax. Um, and I still I think we received this our little. Deliveroo at like half five, so I'm hoping it's kind of still cold, but I don't really know. It's just that I thought it was kind of too early because we weren't leaving for a while because our table's obviously booked at half nine. But I've got oh dear, I've got a very cute glass in the room. Oh, okay, I was expecting it to be fizzy. Hmm, this is cute. I can definitely get ready. I'm just about to do my makeup again with this. Let's have a little try. Mmm, refreshing. So it was a Thai chili and lemongrass cooler. Lemongrass infused Belenkaya vodka. Have you heard of Belenkaya vodka before? No. With a chili reduction, ginger, ginger, pressed lemon and cloudy apple. Cheers. Yeah. Will's gone for the white jean look. And, um... Do a little, give us a little parade, hun. Oh, wow. Looking fab. Right, catwalk. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hi, guys. Reporting from the gin and juice bar at number 131. We've lucked out. Considering we didn't book, I don't think you can book actually because it was like a queue to get in, but we only waited for five minutes. This is where we were two years ago. I'll enter a photo here. 
We're having Aperol Spritz or Pims actually, but it's completely changed now. Well, not completely, but there's a marquee, guessing because of COVID. And the gin and juice bar has made it upstairs, whereas last time I think it was like more of a barbecue area. Yeah, it's so cool. And we've looked out massively. We're on a cute table right next to the seat eater, so I'm actually scorching. So it's perfect. Very cool. I've got my lovely spice gin and flowers. So many people are having this. Um, let me show you. Oh no, can you see that? It's like a candy floss gin. We saw it in the Ivy yesterday and here. So many people have ordered it and now there's like blue and pink ones. I think the blue one is blue shimmer candy floss gin. Pink strawberry candy floss gin right next to it. But wow wee, that is fetch. But I think that I, if I had that, then I'd, it would be so sweet. I don't know, should I try it? I wouldn't. It's more like pudding. I wouldn't. Because then I won't want come. dinner, yeah. Sick. I would come here, I would have it for pudding after dinner, but I wouldn't have it. Before. Then you're gonna feel sick for Yeah. I'm just having a look at my stories from two years ago and it was at, it was the first of June that we came to Cheltenham two years ago and now it's like end of June almost then. But so this is the last time we were here. We went to obviously the gin and juice bar. Can you see that? And this is the gin I had. So I had like rose petals and stuff. Yeah, this was downstairs, the gin and juice. So they still had the like, was really good, wasn't yeah, it? it was really hot last time we came. And then this was outside. this time I like straws oh. oh yeah good is it delicious can I try it a bit please this is watermelon and then I've got a like I thought these were slices of potato but they're actually... <laughs> but they're slices... <laughs> but that's what the... I just said, she said, the first time I saw that, I thought that was potato. And I was like, I did the exact same thing. I thought you put slices of potato in. That's ginger. It's ginger. There we go. So it's ginger. Not tried potato. It yet. No, I haven't tried it yet. It's so dangerous, that. It's so tasty. It's like... Oh, wow. Interesting. That's so tasty. Try it. It's interesting. It it's nice. nice. It's very nice. Yeah. I like rhubarb gin, actually. It's That's, rhubarb gin. I mean, gin. honestly, this place is ridiculous, isn't it? Gin it's here. so cool, isn't it? And I want to drink more gin when I get back to the pizza. I want to buy some homemade gifts, start chopping something, throwing it into the glass. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, side note though, our table's in like 20 minutes, but it's only over the road, literally opposite. Oh no, it's now 15 minutes. But we've just got, we've both got a goblet of gin each and our table's in 15 minutes. Can we do it? Can we make the table? Us. I back us. Do we back us? Just gotta fucking destroy yes. it. Let's not destroy that gin. Let's destroy the gin. 21.25, I've got a few minutes, two minutes. We'll take three minutes to go over there, maybe. Maybe 30 seconds. I think I'm at the bottom. I've reached the bottom. Okay, darling. Should we go? Let's go. So this is where we've just been, number 131. And then here is where we're going. Brasserie Blanc. 
so that's a perfect thing to do if you're in Cheltenham to go there for an aperitif and then go there for dinner so let's go especially now it's raining I'm so glad we only have to walk a little bit Ooh. what are you going for Will? I was going to go for some uh, baked salmon friends. But Laura accidentally ordered olives and said, which I hear right now. There you go. Ooh, Thank you. Thank you so much. Perfect. You've been so hungry. There you go. Tuck in. <laughs> Tuck in. They're big, juicy ones. They are. Mm. We'll order this like honey glazed um, cheese. And I can really taste the honey, it's really sweet. And I've got a passion fruit uh, mojito, which is delicious. We might just order a, a burger each, which is a bit naughty, but it is a Saturday. That was so rapid though. We ordered like two minutes ago. I've got the halloumi burger. We're home. It was raining. Uh, my umbrellas are in the car, so my hair is pretty drenched what a lovely time this has been hey and have you enjoyed it as well have you enjoyed it has it been the best holiday ever for you right we're gonna go to bed have a shower go to bed and we'll be up in the morning for our breakfast at 10. and just like that we are back Home. I think the last time I checked in was last night. We have since then, obviously, we had breakfast this morning, which again was delicious. Um, and then we checked out. We checked out of the room, said goodbye to the beautiful George Hotel, and then drove back. So I'm now, or we're all now back in London. Um, and we had a great time, didn't we? Yeah, it was really good. What was your favourite part about the trip? Uh... The IV was really nice, I thought, and the bedroom, and the meal at the place last night was really nice. But I think I, and I really enjoyed the wine bar because of the fatigue and a bit of a laugh. It was all fun, wasn't it? Yeah, was and good. how about gin and juice? Yeah, I forgot about that. Gin and juice was really good. Yeah. Very snazzy. So cool. I loved it. Yeah, so as you can tell, we had a great time. So, thank you so much for watching this video. If you do like the video and you want more content, you want to catch up with more things, then please do subscribe to my channel. Also, side note, I never drink in the week, um, but I drink on like, like a, maybe a Friday or a Saturday night or when I'm on holiday. And these videos are all basically when I'm traveling because this is a travel vlog. So basically every single night, You've been drunk on my videos You're I've really? been drinking and it's not my usual life but you catch me at my best bits guys <laughs> comment down below on what you like best about Cheltenham or what video you'd like to see next and yeah hope you're having a lovely summer and I will see you again in my next video bye oh bye guys take care kids do you want to say bye bye